Hello everyone, let's look at steps to create a full backup of your computer. This backup will include the Windows installation files, your settings, your applications, and your files. For this process, we're going to be using the legacy system image backup feature available on Windows 11, which has been deprecated, but it still works. And you can use it for temporary backups, such as when you need to upgrade the system to a new version of the operating system, or you need to replace a hard drive. If you want to keep an up-to-date backup of your files, you should be using file history, a cloud storage service such as OneDrive, or manually copying files to an external drive on a daily basis. Okay, first, you need to connect an external hard drive with enough space to create the backup of your computer, and then do the following. First, open Star and look for Control Panel. Then go to System and Security, and then click on Backup and Restore. In here, we're going to click the Create a System Image option. Now, I'm going to select the drive that I want to use to create a backup. Now, it is important to know that you cannot use a USB flash drive. You have to use a USB external hard drive, the one with rotary platters or an SSD that uses a USB enclosure. There is also an option to save the backup to a network location, but there's a different set of instructions. Once you selected the hard drive that you want to use for the backup, just click the Next button. Also, it's important to note that you cannot save the backup on the main hard drive because it defeats the purpose of having a security copy of your files. Now, if you have different hard drives installed on the computer with different data, you should be able to select them from here. But since I have only one hard drive, everything is already checked and I cannot modify this particular setting. And then click Next. Now, make sure to understand that when you're making a copy of your computer, that backup will not be encrypted. So make sure to place it on a safe place. So make sure to put it away on a safe location and then click OK. And now just click the Start Backup button. The backup is going to take some time depending on the amount of data available on your computer. And yes, you can use your computer while Windows is saving the backup on the external hard drive. After the backup has been completed, you can actually ignore this message to create a repair disk because you can access the Windows recovery settings from the Windows desktop, or you can also use a Windows 11 USB bootable media to access the backup restore option. So here we're going to click no, and then just click the close button. And that's it, you have completed the process of creating a full backup of your device. Now, if you have to restore your computer using a full backup, do this. First, open Start and look for Settings. Then, open System and then open the Recovery page. From here, we're going to click on the Restart Now button for the Advanced Startup setting and click the Restart option again. Now, on the Windows Recovery environment, click on Troubleshoot, then go to Advanced Options and then click on See More Recovery Options and then click on System Image Recovery. Now, in order to proceed, you will need to enter the recovery key for BitLocker. If you don't know how to find that key, make sure to check the video description to find the link to the tutorial on how to find that key. And then click the Continue button. Now, when you access to the System Image Backup Recovery option, because you already connected the USB external hard drive that includes the backup of your computer, the system is going to detect that automatically and it's going to offer that backup by default. Now, if you have different backups, you can select this option and then just search for that drive and then just select that backup from the list. Usually you want to use the latest backup available and then just click Next. And because I'm restoring the computer on the same hard drive, this option is going to appear right out. But if you were replacing a hard drive, you will have the option to format and repartition the disks. So on this page, just click Next. And then just click the Finish button to complete the recovery process. Understand that everything on that computer hard drive is going to be erased and replaced with the image available in the backup. This might take some time depending on the amount of data available on that backup. Once the backup completed restoring on your computer, you will have the option to restart the device and you can then once again start on Windows 11.
And that's it. That is how you use the system image backup feature on Windows 11 to create a full backup of your computer and also how to use the Windows record environment in order to restart your computer from a backup. Now, remember to leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.